Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at ND filters for the DJI Mavic 3 Pro from Freewell. Freewell did send me these for free to test out and it's not sponsored by them, so opinions are my own. Now, for those of you who've been doing filmmaking photography for a while, you know the importance of ND filters. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I've made detailed videos on them and I'll make sure to link those in the description below. But just for a quick summary, ND filters are like sunglasses for your camera. They help reduce the amount of light entering your camera so you get specific shutter speeds for specific types of content. Let's say you wanna get a long exposure of the waves in broad daylight. You wanna use some dark ND filters to bring your shutter speed down in order for you to get those silky looking waves. Now this kit from Freewell includes ND PL filters and also and other set with ND 1000, 2000, a UV, as well as a CPL filter. Now polarizers help you reduce the amount of glare when you're filming and while taking photos as well. Let's say you're filming a reflective surface like a glass building or a water body, you wanna cut out the glare, use the polarizer filter. Now I personally use ND polarizer filters for most of my filming work. Uh, for photography, when I'm only taking photos, I do use CPL filters. In fact, I'm using a ND32 CPL filter right now to record this very video. Now the Mavic 3 Pro has three cameras and all of them are different. The main camera is the Hasselblad 4x3 inch, while the 3X camera is a 1 over 1.3 inch with no variable aperture and the seven times zoom camera is half an inch. Now why this might be a little tricky is because let's say you've used an ND16 filter and you've kept in mind that you're mostly gonna be filming with the main camera, which is the four by three inch house of blood camera. But when you switch over to the 3X, the exposure is gonna be slightly off because it's a smaller camera sensor. So you've used a slightly darker ND filter for that. And when you switch on to the seven times camera, you're, you're gonna have to bump up your ISO or severely reduce your shutter speed in order to get a good enough exposure. For example, I was using, I put on the ND16 filter and it exposed perfectly fine for my settings for the main camera. I was slightly underexposed with the 3X camera. For the 7X camera, I had to bump up the ISO to 400. Now let's say even if I use a slightly lighter ND filter because I wanted to keep in mind the 3X and the 7X camera, I can still control my aperture. So I can bring my aperture to five and above in order to properly expose my footage with the main camera but with the fixed apertures of the 3x and the 7x camera I'm still properly exposed and I don't need to introduce a little bit or more noise in my footage. Just wanted to jump in and say if you're finding any value from this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it helps out this video and this channel. Now something you do want to keep in mind is that when you're using ND filters and you switch from normal mode and you're filming in D-Log M with the 3X camera or even the 1X camera, just keep in mind that when you're filming in normal and you're properly exposed and then you switch to D-Log M, it exposes differently. So you're gonna have to increase your shutter speed or increase the aperture so that you're exposed properly. Because I tried this a couple times with the main camera as well as a 3X camera, you have to work any exposure again when you're switching from normal color profile to the D-Log M. Now with the main Hasselblad camera, if I know that I'm only gonna be filming with this and I'm filming in D-Log, the base ISO is set at 400 and the next one is at 800. So that is a high bump in order for best amount of noise. So I know that I'm gonna to have to use a pretty dark ND filter to bring the exposure to one over 50 when, making, when filming in 24 frames per second. Let's say I'm using an ND64 filter and I'm filming in D-Log with the main camera and then I switch to the 3X and the 7X, I'm gonna have to severely bump up the ISO on those cameras in order to expose properly because I'm using a pretty dark ND filter. So these are some things you wanna keep in mind that'd be a little tricky for when you're shooting footage and taking photos with your Mavic 3 Pro and the different cameras that it has. Now, when it comes to the quality of these ND filters, they've always been exceptional. Freewell is a well-known brand and I've been using their ND filters for years for all my drones and including this camera right now as well. I even use the ND filters for my GoPro Hero 11. Quality of these ND filters are exceptional. 
they cost $149 compared to the ND filters from DJI which cost $179 so you'll be saving a few dollars there however if you don't want ND polarized filters and just want ND filters from Freewell they also have that option too a lot of landscape photographers use polarizer filters because it brings out more rich colors in their photos. Now, if you look at this example here, I'm pointing the Mavic 3 Pro at my car windshield and I'm twisting the ND16 PL filter. So you can see the changes in the reflection there. Now for the best amount of polarization, Freewell has said to move the dial all the way to the white mark so make sure both the white marks are aligned another thing to note is that when you're using these filters there's always a little bit of change in the color it's not too much that i've noticed in my footage and my photos but there is an increase in temperature and that does tend to happen with a lot of polarizer filters and certain nd filters too not something you need to be very worried about because you can fix it in post but something to keep in mind so for example if you're normally exposing at 5500 Kelvin um, on a normal sunny day, you might want to bring down your temperature to a little cooler side, let's say to 5200 when using these polarizer filters. So you're properly exposed for your white balance. Just something to keep in mind. If you look at these photos here, one was taken without an ND filter, the other one was taken with the ND PL filter. You can see that the temperature is a little warmer and both of these are in automatic settings in JPEG. Now for the differences in footage, I've recorded footage from all the three cameras, taken photos from all the three cameras, as well as recorded in D-Log-M and in D-Log and in normal color profile. Now in conclusion, I don't have anything bad to say about these filters. They work well, they do the job, they're really good quality and they're not too expensive and they just make your content look a little better. Now, if you're interested in getting these, I'll make sure to drop the link in the description below. A big thank you to Freewell for sending these filters out for me to test out for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you in the next one.